Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of uh, oh, March 15th through the 21st, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? So, you know, this could be this week. We're intending it to be this week, but divine timing is real, so it could be at any time. So what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Capricorn? I do apologize. The, the neighbor appears to be vacuuming his car. So what do we have? The show must go on. And I waited and waited and waited. So who knows? All right. What do we have for Capricorn? Camel persevere and you will overcome problems so you may need to persevere over something it's not going to be easy but you can overcome something rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross hills obstacles to overcome so i believe that you definitely are going to be needing to overcome an obstacle this week Okay, and you are dealing with somebody that is probably, you know, um, you know, this this rooster looks angry. You know, you got to be careful with who you who you make upset. They're probably going to cause an obstacle for you. So you're going to be you're definitely going to be dealing with an obstacle this week. Okay, um, so yeah, but you're gonna you can overcome it. You can over. We have obstacles to overcome and persevere, and you will overcome obstacles. So we have the word obstacle twice, and we have the word overcome. So this is about overcoming an obstacle. You. This could be you, the rooster. That rooster could be you. You know. Um, either way, there is somebody here that is upset. Ten of Swords. Oh boy. So a Ten of Swords is the death of a situation. It's betrayal. It's the end. Something is coming to the end. Okay? This is very painful. So, yeah, something is happening. Something has reached the end. And it is absolutely the end. It's over. This is like a mental or physical collapse. Right? It's over. Something is over. It's done. It's over. Page of Cups. Two of Cups. Reverse. We have a partnership that's over. It is. Because this is a partnership that is completely over. Now, this, this I'm not sure who it's with. It could be with anybody that you are dealing with. Um... Page of Cups is typically good news. It's typically welcome news. It could also be very emotional. It may have something to do with a child. I don't know. But when you get the Page of Cups, this is... Uh, well, it's a card of intuition. You may, do, may need to listen to your gut. You may need to open your heart. There could also be some support here, some emotional support. You may be receiving some emotional support from somebody. Um, but typically the Page of Cups is happy news that is arriving. Now maybe this is happy for you. Maybe you're happy that something is over. This is a detachment from a partnership. Somebody, this is as low as you can go. Somebody has uh, done something that is the ultimate. It's like the ultimate uh, betrayal of some sort. Three of Wands reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Temperance. So this is evolving. This is that comes after the death. Okay, this is the death of a situation. Temperance comes after death. So it is evolving. It's accepting and allowing that something is over. You may be, maybe you, maybe you've just come to a point where you're just gonna go with the flow. You know that it's over. It's done. 
you know, you're not focusing on it anymore. Maybe you're, maybe you're just focused on your own heart. You know, or you're focused on a new love offer, offer or a new love opportunity. You know, the Seven of Cups is seeing very, very clearly. If there's been some sort of confusion or if there's been some sort of illusion, you're coming out of it this week. This is accepting. You are definitely accepting something. You've learned some sort of lesson. This is a card of purpose. It's a card of change, evolution. Okay, this is a card of compromise and blending to create harmony. You have been in some sort of partnership that has not been good. Okay, it's not been good. There's been um, fighting, arguing. There's been wasted time. There's been uh, lack of foresight. But I think that you see very, very clearly now that it's time for something better in your life. You may have an offer from somebody that is, you know, it's it's in the, it's in the early stages, but you're, you know, in order for you to receive it, you have to accept and allow that something else is over. I mean, that is a painful situation. It's a painful end. It's over. I accept it. I realize that it happened for a re reason. This is a card of patience, waiting. Maybe you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for some sort of uh, choice to be made. Maybe you needed to make the choice to accept that something is over. I feel like this is a time of growth for you because this is in just knowing and I don't even and this is intuition. I feel like you know this is acceptance. It's like and I know that this is over. I know that it's over and I accept it. Right? I feel like um you need to stay true to yourself and I think that's another thing that you're doing this week. You may be uh seeing just seeing very very clearly that you're not the same person that you used to be something has hurt you really 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 badly with that ten of swords but this has caused your evolution and it does have to do with a partnership this partnership can be with a child it can be with a lover it can be with anybody okay and i feel like you maybe you didn't see it because the three of wands reversed is lack of foresight you didn't see it but i think that you see it very clearly now you know, maybe it's time for a new life. Um, I feel like you need to have some fun um, with the Page of Cups. Put yourself out there. Show your feelings. Open up your heart. Follow your heart. Some of you may have an admirer here. You may have an... You've been hurt really, really bad. You may have it. Maybe it's a... It's a new partner or something, you know, that you have not been... Um, seeing as an option because of a previous betrayal anyway i do believe you're you're going to be um seeing things differently this week the star the star is a star is a card of hope it's a card of inspiration and renewal this is help arriving after the tower has fallen this is the fairy godmother or like a fairy godmother that is granting a wish Everything. This is a card of purpose. This is a card of purpose. This is a card of reason. This is a card of reason. Everything happens for a reason. This is a blessing. Both of these cards. You're going to receive a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise that something has ended. So this is a wish being granted. This may be protection. You may have been protected. Maybe you were protected from somebody or somebody that you're dealing with. There's protection here from somebody from the other side. And I feel, I feel like you've had a significant event in your life that has uh, forced you to change because the tower comes before the star. It has forced you to change. Death comes before temperance. It has forced an ending in your life, but it all happened for a reason. I feel like you're not the same person that you are you, that you used to be and you have some sort of good news that is coming to you this week. A wish is being granted. It may not be granted in the way that you thought it was going to be granted. You were probably in some sort of illusion or in some sort of fantasy and not seeing something clearly, but once you accept and allow and compromise to blend and to create harmony in your life after you accept that a partnership is done that it's over that a union is not compatible once you accept it they, they grant you a wish it happens just like that 
so I do believe there is some sort of wish that is being granted for you this week. I mean, that, that star card is um, a dream come true. This is a new purpose. This is renewal. This is healing. This is a blessing. So you're going to be blessed with some. This is a blessing as well. It is a blessing that there that there's been some sort of separation because the two of cups reverse is a separation. It is a blessing that something didn't work out because this is receiving something better. And maybe you see that now. That's seeing very clearly that there's something better. So I feel like there's some sort of change inside of you that helps you or you've realized something. You realize that everything happened for a reason. It's accepting and allowing it. And because you accept it, this is a gift, you know? Hmm. Knight of Coins reversed. One more card. And Four of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, the devil. So you have been involved in a toxic situation. Something that is very unhealthy. This is unhealthy behavior. This is tied to a situation. This is anger. It is ego. This is obsession. This is force. This is addictions. Could be food. Could be drugs. Could be alcohol. Could be gambling. Could be materialism. This is something that you need to find a way to break free from. So I feel like this week, you're going to be giving up on something that... Your heart was connected to. Your heart was really in it, okay? Your heart was in it. But I feel like you're giving up on it because you see something differently now. I think that you're, you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of wasting time. You're tired of the fantasy. You're tired of the illusion. You're tired of playing games. And I feel like this week, I feel like whatever you've been waiting for, it's like, you know, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm going to be true to myself. I'm, I'm going to, I know that there's something better for me. This is like an inner knowing. Anyway, I feel like this week you're going to stop with some sort of illusion. This is a, this is a stop. The illusion. Stop the fantasy. It's, it's like, like seeing very clearly. You're getting some clarity this week. I feel like there's been a lack uh, with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. There's been a lack of uh, practicality, right? You may not have been practical. You may not have been realistic. Or you were dealing with somebody that was unfaithful. Or dealing with somebody that was irresponsible. That was really not qualified. I mean, the, the Knight of Coins reverse is somebody that's not qualified. That is unemployed. That... Um, doesn't have the means to take care of you, doesn't stick around, isn't solid, isn't secure, isn't stable. That's re And this is a realization. And both of these cards really are a realization. So I think you're realizing something about stability and security and accepting and, allow and allowing that this is better. This is a better option. I think that you definitely have a better option this week. Anyhow, I feel like you are giving up on a situation that has really hurt you. And there's a lot. I mean, you think about this. This is the three of swords, right? It's the four of swords, but that's three swords. Okay. That's painful. I think that you have been grieving over a loss. And, you've been, and, and, and you know, with the three of wands reverse, you can call that wasted time. But it's not really wasted time because there, a grieving process is real. Whether a person has died or they have left your life for another reason, okay? You grieve. You grieve that loss, and it's hard to let go. So I think that you have been grieving. I think that you have been grieving over a loss, over a partnership. But I feel like this partnership, it all ended for a reason, and now you're about to be blessed with, you know, something even better, okay? This is blessed with something even better. Um, you may be tired this week. You may be exhausted because when you go through a major change, and these are both majors, this is a major change. It may be a major change of 
uh, your route. You're changing your route. You know, when you when you go through this, it's exhausting. Maybe you've been exhausted. Maybe you've been tired. I think that this week you're probably gonna you're probably still going to be tired. I think that this is this is a time of needing to heal. And you are. This is healing, healing, healing. You're you're healing from something, and you've you've actually healed quite a bit. Okay, you've healed quite a bit from a partnership that didn't work out. And this partnership, like I said, it could it could be many different partners. I mean, it could be it could be a family member, it could be a child, it could be a lover, it could be a friend. You have done a lot of healing and you have evolved, okay? And I see that you've been waiting for something and I feel like whatever you know, because this is like, this is waiting, this is waiting. The wait may be over for some of you. If you have been betrayed, you've been hurt, you've been, you know, uh, alone, you've been alone, there's, there's an offer coming for you, okay? You may be surprised. You may be surprised. This could be from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Sagittarius, an Aquarius. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, did I say Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? I did. You have. You're going to be. Re some of you may be receiving an apology from somebody as well with the Page of Cups. Maybe. Maybe that's when you you realize. You know. You that. You know. You've changed. You know. Um, there could be some forgiveness here. You may need. To, you may need to forgive. You may need to open your heart. Um, but I do feel like you are moving in a new direction. I feel like uh, you are about to receive some sort of blessing, something that you asked for uh, after you've been hurt really, 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 really badly. And this has been a serious obstacle. It has. And it may have to do, and, and you may, this is the card of ego. And it's hard to break free from that ego, to let let go of something that you are tied to. Ego is the worst. Okay, this is this is the worst. Okay, this is um, unhealthy. I feel like you have been uh, tied to something, and it has made you really, really angry. Because you've you've have to let go of control, you know, and I feel like you had let go of control, and now you got to take control back of yourself, you know. You need to take back control from that demon inside of you. Maybe it's pride. Maybe there's some sort of pride in there. Maybe you need to swallow your pride. You have another offer here, or another opportunity for wish fulfillment, for love. Okay, for love, for wish fulfillment. And I think that it's it's really time for you to accept, you know, uh, that whatever didn't, whatever killed you in the past or whatever hurt you so bad in the past happened for a reason because it caused your evolution, okay? I can see that you've been waiting, okay? You've been waiting for something, Um I feel like the I feel like the time's up. I do think that there is some sort of help that is coming. Um, we definitely have the death of a situation. These two are mirroring each other. Okay, this is the death of a situation. Um, something is coming to a stop. It's coming to a halt. A decision is being made to stop. To stop going in that direction. Um, So anyway, this week, I do believe that I also feel like there's somebody from a that has passed away that is guiding you because it feels like there's a guiding light. There's some sort of protection from the other side. You know, I feel that I feel that very strongly. It feels like somebody has seen you suffer. They've they've seen it. And things are coming to a halt. OK, they're coming. It's all coming to an end. I think that you are becoming clear of a choice. Somebody is, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There is somebody here that is seeing very, very clearly that something is over. Okay, they're seeing it very, very clearly. There's no more confusion. 
Somebody did not see the opportunities. They may have missed an opportunity. They may have procrastinated. They may have delayed. This is where you start to see, or you do see, you see very, very clearly that you need to stop wasting your time. And I hate to say wasting time because it feels like this is a grieving process. I think that you've been hurt really, really badly. But it's a time where you've, you've done a lot of healing and you're about to receive some sort of blessing. This is a, the, both of these cards is a blessing. What is this blessing? This is the end of suffering. It is. If you've been suffering, this is the end of suffering. It is. You're going to be receiving some good news of some sort. Somebody may be really expressing their feelings to you. This is a, you know, this is expression of feelings. This is a wish being granted. This is divine timing. It's time. I feel like the wait is over. I think you've been waiting for something. The wait is over. Some of you have been healing from a partnership that just about killed you. Ah, yeah, you have. Three of swords. So, yeah, painful. Painful separation. So we have a painful separation here. Extremely painful. There's grieving. I know that there is. There's grieving over a loss. I feel like I feel like you have been hurt very, very, very badly. But I feel like it, I, I honestly feel like this is accepting it because this is a card of acceptance and healing from the pain, the heartache. So I feel like this is a big week of of healing. I mean, now on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody is approaching you, or they're making an advance. You may have an arrival, could be a lover, could be a friend. This is emotional support. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings or falling in love or uh, something like that. This is forgiving energy, healing energy, emotional understanding you got somebody that is coming in that is very very loving I feel like some of you have an admirer if you are in a relationship now and you've been healing over a previous ending you have somebody here who loves you okay so I do believe that you're gonna you're gonna be uh, Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings towards you. You may be opening your heart after after being hurt really, really badly as well. Socializing. I also feel like we have somebody here that's going to be acting on their feelings. This is healing a broken heart for some of you. There could be somebody that's coming in that is going to help you to heal from a broken heart. These are both healing. This is a broken heart. This is, this is the death of a situation. This one is too. It's over. This is, this is the help arriving after the tower, after the ending. Once you accept that it's over, you will receive a blessing. The, here it comes. You've definitely had to overcome something. Everything happens for a reason. You're about to receive something even better. So, what more can I say? 
you're going to be re you're going to be receiving you know or somebody is going to be making an approach towards you or an offer to you that is very emotionally fulfilling accept the offer this is a healing energy good luck